I just saw you guys 10 hours ago. Is something wrong? No, Lindsay, it's standard for us to just follow up and see how you're doing. You know, I don't know if the officers told you last night, but you don't need to preserve the crime scene. It, um, always kind of looks like this. Oh, well, I, I didn't mean anything by it. No worries. You're sweet. He is, right? Yeah, until you get to know him, sure. Uh, would you mind putting out your cigarette? It's electronic. It's just water vapor. Anyway, didn't I answer your questions last night? Well, we're just trying to get a better picture of the relationship. How long have you known Eddie? He came into my shoe store about six weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I'm a foot model and a shoe designer. I only do retail between gigs. You know, these brands seem a little high-end for Eddie, no? Well, he came in with his wife, and then he came back the next day on his own. His wife? You sure it was his wife? Of course I'm sure. What do you think the fight was about? I didn't want to be the girl on the side anymore. Well, the thing is, Lindsay, Eddie told us if I was about you being pregnant that you attacked him. That's crazy. I'm not pregnant. Okay. Any idea why he would think that? You know, if my cigarette bothers you, maybe I could just talk to him. Absolutely. something you want to tell me? I thought it over. I'm not sure I want to press charges now. Lindsay, it's a little late for that. Eddie's a good guy. We both just got hot under the collar. All right, so last night he was trying to rape you, but today it's a misunderstanding. Has someone asked you not to talk? Why would you say that? Lindsay told you Eddie came into the store with his wife. No chance. He hasn't seen her in three years. She's partying in Miami. Are you sure? Because he still wears his ring. I'm sure. Eddie's he's just catolico, loyal. So Lindsay saw the ring, tried to make up a story. Yeah, then she says that she'd be more comfortable just talking to him tomorrow. Because she thinks she has a better chance at working the male partner. So she's lied to you, tried to manipulate you. So did Eddie. I know Eddie's story. What's hers? What did Lindsay do now? You took out an order of protection against her. How'd you two meet? She friended me on, on Facebook after I started the charity. She said she was interested in, in school issues. And you believe that? I guess I was naive. So you had an affair with Lindsay? I thought she was at the perfect intersection of hot and crazy. What went wrong? I underestimated the crazy. She started demanding money, and when I wouldn't come across with enough, she said she'd boil my bunny. Come again? She stalked my kids outside their school. Then she sent emails about the affair to my wife and our board. My marriage ended, and I lost a big grant from the Gates Foundation. Did Lindsay know about the grant? We put out a press release. And that's when she started making demands. I guess it was always about the money with Lindsay, wasn't it? You got something on Lindsay? So far, four men have filed orders of protection against her for harassment and extortion. Plus two more OOPs, one from an ex-mother-in-law and the other's from an ex-shrink who kept getting texts demanding that he come back and murder her vagina, whatever that means. It means she's a freak. Okay, so she lied to us, she's changed her story, she's gone back and forth about pressing charges. Maybe Barbara's right, Eddie deserves the benefit of the doubt. Unless we're asking the wrong questions. Here he goes. Her other marks are worth the risk. The head of a foundation, wealthy shoe designer, sports TV exec, Eddie works at Rikers. So maybe she's hitting bottom. Or maybe, maybe Eddie's not who she was shaking down.
Good news, bad news, counselor. Eddie wasn't in a relationship with Lindsay, and he wasn't trying to rape her. Get to the bad part. Oh, we think she may have been in a relationship with Alex Munoz. When she tried to shake him down, Alex sent Eddie over to tune her up. Interesting theory. Yeah, sir. Is that all it is? Well, Lindsay's M.O. is to get her hooks into powerful married men. Uh, she's a heat-seeking missile, and Eddie has no heat. Your friend Alex does. If you knew Yelena, you know he'd never step out on her. Well, all due respect, counsel, you may not be totally objective. Nick. If Eddie was sent to assault her or scare her, we're I understand what you're her. saying. And you're wrong. But take the steps you would with any other investigation. No one's interfering. Lindsay, she left last night. She moved out? More like ran out with four suitcases and a limo waiting outside. Do you know where she went? No, nah, she was in a hurry. I live underneath. An hour back and forth in high heels, backing. Tap, 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 tap. These are all her shoes. You need them? Size six. Help yourself. You know how it is when you're young. But it's markets like these that make this city great. In fact, I met my wife at one of them. And that's the best reason to vote for me, is you get Yelena as your first lady. And she's not only prettier than me, she's smarter. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support, really. Aquí por todos! Munoz, can we talk to you for a minute? That yeah, concerns Eduardo Garcia. Honey, is everything okay? Oh, absolutely. I'm just gonna talk to the fellas here about the police foundation event. I'll see you by the van, okay? Listen, guys, I'm tight on time. I got a meeting over with the Archdiocese. We just have a few loose ends we need to tie up. You know, we've been looking at Lindsay Anderson's background. It doesn't quite add up the story, how she got involved with Eddie. Eddie's got a broken heart, and he's, he's not the best judge of character. Probably saw an easy mark. Well, that fits her pattern, but all the other men she went after were rich. And Eddie, no offense, se muerto de hambre. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But Mr. Munoz, we haven't called the brass. We want to handle this discreetly. Eddie's close to you, so we have to ask. Is he covering for you? What? I'm a happily married man. I never even met this woman. You sure about that? On the grave in Abuelita. I've never seen her, I've never spoken to her. What did she say? Well, she left her apartment abruptly last night. We're tracking it down. That's the kind of person you're dealing with. A person who makes accusations and then disappears. I guess that's good news for Eddie. If you'll excuse me. A man slick, he must be pretty sure we won't find him. That's okay, I just did. Last night, I friended her on Facebook. Tell me she pokes you. Well, she liked my photo. Uh, latest post from 40,000 feet. On my way to Israel to start my awesome new job. Political consultant to the Labor Party in Tel Aviv. 